Hey, it's Shane Gregory, and in this video, I'm going to show you how this bottle of water, this one, yeah, is going to help you grow your business by making your marketing extremely more effective. So if you are a business owner, entrepreneur, marketing executive, CEO, and you are trying to grow your business with any type of digital marketing, pay attention because this bottle has the key. Now, before we do that, if you could go to learnwithchin.com, on that page you can schedule a free strategy session with myself where I could, where I'll help you develop a Facebook marketing game plan for your business that will significantly grow your revenue in the next 90 days. So that's learnwithchin.com. Do me a favor, type it in the in the comment box in the comment section so that anyone who's trying to go to that URL can find it very easily. Now. I saw a social media quote review recently, and I'm gonna get to the bottle in just a sec, but this social media quote is kind of what is the genesis for this entire video, and I'm gonna share that quote with you. Um, the quote said, and I'm not gonna say you said it because I don't wanna call anybody out, but it said, if it is easy, then you are doing it wrong. If it is easy, then you are doing it wrong, and the caption underneath the quote said, nothing worth having comes easy. I don't agree. I don't agree at all. There's a lot of things that are good, uh, that are easy, that we definitely want and are definitely more beneficial. Case in point, since I've moved back to the United Kingdom, I have put on about 25 pounds in weight, which is roughly 11 kilos. And I know this because I was at a wedding recently and it was very difficult to get into my tux. So for any of you, uh, any of those of you who like food as much as I do, it is generally better when getting into our clothes is easier. That's just one example I can think of. Additionally, relationships, right? You know, unless you enjoy drama, an easy relationship is generally beneficial to a difficult one. Now, it's for an example that's very relevant to what we're talking about, talking to today is your marketing, okay? If your marketing is difficult, that is indicative of a wider problem, okay? Business, and when I say business, I mean really like selling your products and services to your customers and clients, marketing your products and services to your customer clients, that should be easy. It should be very easy. And when it's not, it's generally because there's something within that process of marketing or selling your products or services to your customers that's broken, that's causing friction. And if that's the case, if it's not easy, there are three main areas where the breakdown can happen when there's usually gonna be friction. And so what I'm gonna do in this rest of this video is talk to you about where those areas could be that you could be having some problems with your marketing, that it could be friction, what's causing the friction, and then how to fix it, okay? And we're gonna get into that in just a sec. Now, if you want me to go into more detail on this, you can schedule a strategy session with me at learnwithchin.com where we can really go into detail and help you with fixing any potential problems in your marketing and help you develop a game plan to significantly grow your revenue. That's learnwithchin.com. So, the three areas where you are likely having friction or if there's a problem with your marketing, it's gonna be one of these three areas generally. Now, the first area that you may be having problem with your marketing or you may see some friction is with your targeting. And when we say targeting, what I mean by that is um, your ideal audience, putting your, getting more traffic, getting more leads, uh, getting more people uh, visits your website. If you're not getting the traffic that you want, if you're not getting the leads that you want, you're not getting enough visits, or if your cost per clicks are really, really, really high, or your click-through rates are really low, that is an issue with targeting. That shows there is a friction around the targeting process. And what I mean by targeting is that the audience that you are putting your message in front of is the wrong audience. Because if you are running ads or if you are you know, doing any type of marketing and the audience is wrong, you're gonna see lower traffic because people aren't clicking it. You're gonna see really high cost per clicks because when they do, the social media marketing um, platforms are penalizing you and you're gonna see really, really low click-through rates. So if any of those things are happening, it's generally because of your targeting. And what, once you change the target, once you put the right message in front of the right audience, everything else becomes so much easier. And you may see people say things like, well, you know, change the image or change the headline or change the copy. Trust me, it's the targeting. And we're gonna use our little bottle to explain. And I was uh, a friend of mine, me and a friend of mine, we were in uh, Chich Chichen Itza in Mexico. I hope I said that correctly. And we were going to visit the pyramids. And along the way, there's this guy and he's standing on the side of the road and he's selling bottles of water. Now, like all typical tourists, there was lots of us there. We didn't pack any water on this journey. And we were walking for ages, we were hot, we were tired. So when we see this guy on the side of the road selling water, I was like, Psh, I ran over there and I was like, yep, give me some water. He was selling the water, and I'll never forget this. It was the equivalent of seven pounds, which is about, which at the time was about $10. And you know, you could go and get water for two bucks at a, at a, um, 
at a supermarket, at a grocery store. But because he was targeting the right audience, people that are hot, people that have an issue, right, that have an issue, we're hot, we're tired, we need water, he didn't really have to sell it much, right? We were happy to pay five times the cost of what it cost anywhere else to get that water to solve that problem. Now, his target was on point. Now, imagine if he was trying to sell this thing outside a supermarket or outside a grocery store for, te for five times the price of the cost of it inside the grocery store. He wouldn't be able to sell. So your targeting is more important than anything else. And if there's any issue with your marketing, if there's any problems, you're having any friction, start with the targeting, okay? Because you can fix the targeting, if you can put the right message in front of the right person, everything else becomes easy. The second area where you may be having some issues or you may see some friction or you may see some problems with your marketing is the conversion process, right? The conversion area where people are actually becoming customers. Because if you're getting lots of traffic, right? If you're getting traffic, you're getting leads, you know, you're getting visits, you're getting people to come to your, um, you know, the, the point of sale, whether that be online or in person, if that's happening, but you're not converting those people into customers, that's a conversion issue, okay? And one of the ways that we can kind of illustrate um, the difference with the conversion issue, or one of the ways that you can improve your conversion process is by changing the actual offer or changing the actual pre presentation of the delivery of the thing that you're selling, all right? Let's go back to our friend who's uh, selling these trusty bottles of water. Now, imagine if when I'd got to him and I said, yep, I'm hot, I'm thirsty, I want a bottle of water, and he pulled out a steel container which was sealed up and he said the only way you can get the water out of this is by getting a blowtorch and blowing through the uh, steel container to get the water. Now that's a ridiculous example, but the point remains the same. No matter how much I wanted the solution, the offer is terrible. And so if the offer is terrible, we would all go over there and we'd be like, yes, we want water, but the offer's terrible. So we're not gonna, he's not gonna sell anything. I mean, <laughs> there might be some people would say, no, F it, Let me, I need the water that bad, I'm gonna try and find a blowtorch. But you know, I see a lot of businesses that do very similar things. They either have offers that, you know, generally aren't that good, or they make it extremely difficult to actually get access to the offer by having complicated sales processes or lots of steps for someone to go through before they actually become a customer. If you're having a conversion issue, if there's an issue around the conversion process, it's usually the offer or it's the delivery of that offer. So try testing out lots of different offers uh, or try making the offer extremely easy or going through it and seeing, you know, is this easy to go through? Is it easy for me to become a customer once I've generated some interest? Okay, so that's the conversion area. The third area where there may be some friction is the amplification. We call this scaling. So let's say that you are targeting the right audience, right? You've got the, you know, you put your message in front of the right people and you've got a great offer. They love your offer, but you're not able to scale. Okay. You're, you're making money, but there's a cap, there's a ceiling. You feel like every time you try and increase what's happening, you know, you don't get the results that you want. That is some area, that's some, that's some friction around the amplification, around the scaling. And if we use, our trusty uh, friend again by the pyramids. You know, imagine if the only times that he was selling the bottle of water was 11 p.m. on a Tuesday night. Now, how many tourists are gonna be there at 11 p.m. on a Tuesday night? Not Probably not many. So no matter how good his marketing, no matter how, how good the problem was, um, no matter how good the solution to the problem was, right? And no matter how well the offer is, he's now limited by his environment and by his actual market. You know, he could go and buy 10,000 bottles to try and sell them. There's just not enough people there. And so that's the same kind of analogy to anyone who's trying to significantly grow their marketing, but it's running into issues of scale your market or your environment isn't big enough. And so what are the th some of the things that you can do? You know, you can go into other markets, you can go and add some other audiences, you can go into a different country, maybe add in some different types of products that more people can buy. But if there is a issue with scaling, like if you've got the offer right, you know, and it's going to the right audience, but you're not able to scale that, then look, have a look at the market and see if the market factors and the environment factors are affecting your ability to scale, okay? So those are the three main things. And if you want me to go into a lot more detail about that type of stuff, you know, I cover it in learnwithtrin.com where you can schedule a strategy session with myself. Go to learnwithtrin.com to check that out if you like this video and you like that type of stuff. But to kind of recap, okay, the three areas where you, where you may see some problems or may have some friction in your market, or it may be difficult if you're finding if you're finding your market in, if you find it you're struggling with your marketing or having some issues, are uh, your um, targeting, your conversion, and your amplification. Because targeting is generally because you're putting the wrong message in front of the wrong person. You know, get the right message in front of the right person, your targeting becomes very, very, very easy. Okay, because people will just lap that up. And um, conversion. 
Now that's usually a problem with the offer, the delivery of the offer, okay? If you can change the offer, if you can adjust the delivery or the way it's presented, people are gonna be much more likely to say, yep, that's easy, I wanna go for it. I already showed my interest in wanting the offer and now you're making it very easy for me to buy the offer. And then finally, you've got those two things right, the right audience, the right offer. Now you wanna scale. It's all about the market and the market environment. Is the market big enough? Do you need to go into other markets? Do you need to add more audiences? You know, do you need to maybe have some more products? Because you know, there's that particular market only buys a certain amount of things and it's not big enough for you to scale. So those are the three areas where there may be where you may have some problems with your marketing. And once you fix those three issues in those three areas, targeting, conversion, amplification your market becomes a breeze. Because if you are putting the right message in front of the right person and it's the right offer that they want and the market is big enough, everything becomes a lot easier. So that is how this bottle of water, um, this, you know, this very simple bottle of water, understanding that and the analogies that I gave could potentially, and I really hope it will, help you you know, fix any issues that you may be having in your marketing. So that is my video for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please comment below if you've got any questions. Um, also go to learnwithchin.com if you want to schedule a free strategy session with myself where I'll help you develop a Facebook marketing game plan that will significantly increase your business's revenue in the next 90 days or less. My name is Shin Gregory. God bless. Take care and I will see you soon.